as a young citizen of India, armed with technology, knowledge and love for my nation, with the vision of transforming India into a developed nation, I am joining Shobhith University. What about you? Very good morning to all of you. So with the Institute of Engineering and Technology Meerut, Deem to be University, Center for Agricultural Informatics and E-Governance Research Studies, and Center for Agribusiness and Disaster Management Studies. The extent greetings to all the participants from India and abroad who are attending today the national webinar series on doubling farmers income by 2022 Atma Nirbhar Bharat in agriculture this webinar series is being hosted on every Thursday at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. IST today 25th February 2021 this webinar is on the topic very important title artificial intelligence enabled pest management technology for agricultural crop protection without pesticides on behalf of the honorable chancellor honorable vice chancellor the faculty members of the university and on my behalf and as professor emeritus and chairman of the centers of excellence center for agricultural informatics and e-governance research studies and center for agribusiness and disaster management studies welcome our today's guest speaker madam shanaz sheikh and mr khalil sheikh so far under this webinar series the university has organized 21 webinars on the topic on every thursday at 11 a.m to 1 p.m role of agricultural cooperative societies and e-governance which was inaugurated by his excellency the secretary general african asian rural development organization ardo nidoli and dr ashok dalwai ias the former chairman of the doubling the farmers income by 2022 committee and also now the empowered committee on operationalizing the doubling farmers income by 2022 committee recommendations second topic was on blockchain technology based fishery value chain a self-contained village a felt need of the day spices informatics network value chain Lantana camera a camouflaged treasure trout smart hill agriculture mara mobile mara marketing integrated mariculture aquaponics precision agriculture in short mapa biofarms for income revolution smart tribal agriculture optimizing value chains digital agri tech and industry perspective land resources information system for increasing farm income weather decision technologies for increasing farm income big data in smart farming sustainable soil and land management for climate smart agriculture understanding market dynamics for increasing farm income role of technologies in mitigating crop risk how to generate additional profit via simple attractive approaches in farm produce adoption of flexi rubber check dam technology potential benefit for farmers in rain fed and coastal agro ecosystem realizing the economic benefits of agroforestry by a panel of experts dr ayanada arunachalam dr mahendra singh and mr perin bum Acrosol, organic humic solutions for increasing crop yields and quality while increasing farm income and improving soil health. Closing the nutrient loop 
phosphorus management in protein farming, improving nutrient use, efficiency, and farm productivity. This webinar would have happened on 18th February 2021 due to it was postponed due to the problem from Australia over the telecast over Facebook and YouTube. It has been postponed. It will happen, uh, you know, as soon as this policy is, uh, you know, uh, resolved with respect to Australia is concerned, because the speaker is from Australia. Today is the 22nd edition of this national webinar series, which will be addressed by a panel of two experts, agri startups and entrepreneurs, Mrs. Shanaz Shaikh and Mr. Khalil Khalil Sheikh on the topic, artificial intelligence enabled pest management technology for agriculture crop production. You can see the key words in the title, artificial intelligence, enablement, pest management technology, agriculture crop protection. And another one very important is without pesticides, without any agrochemical inputs on the crops. Agriculture sector is the foundation of Indian economy. It employs more than 50% of India's workforce and contributes almost 17 to 80% of its GDP. At present, agricultural livelihoods are being severely impacted world over as a result of global warming and climate change. India's labor intensive and subsistence based agriculture sector is particularly vulnerable to this development. Climate change has both the direct and indirect effects on agriculture productivity, including changing rainfall patterns, severe droughts, flooding, and changes in the geographical risk distribution of pests and diseases. Indian farming community comprises of about 14 crores family, of which 85% of the farmers have small and marginal size operational holding. Farmers needs timely, location specific, and personalized information for effective control on their protection, uh, production risk, and then market their produce to identified market opportunities. Many national level programs such as Digital India, Make in India, Skill India, Startup India, and Stand Up India have faced operational difficulties for its impact at farm level and farmer level, and that too at small and marginal farmers. Step towards Indian agricultural reforms. Doubling farmers' income by 2022 report 2018. ICT enabled agriculture services digitalization of agriculture and farm extension 4.0 were deliberated in the doubling farmers income by 2022 report which was submitted to the government in the month of february 2018 which has got i'm i was associated with the two subgroups as its chairman one is volume 12b which it, uh, which has dealt with digital technology in agriculture Volume 12b, Chapter 7, Chapter 8, Chapter 9, and Chapter 10. The Chapter 10 has recommended seven mission mode projects. If these seven mission mode projects are operationalized, it is expected that the entire farming operations, agriculture system, will be digitalized. The volume 11b 11, 11 is talking about empowering the farmers through extension and the knowledge you know of, uh, dissemination volume 12b chapter 10 talks about seven mission mode projects for the benefits of the today's pa panel of experts and the members uh, you know participants let me read it out digitalized agriculture in three vertical smart irrigated agricultural system smart Rainford agriculture system and smart tribal agriculture system. Digitalized agromet advisories and agricultural risk management system. 
digitalized agricultural resources information system and micro level planning for achieving smart village and smart farming fourth is digitalized value chain for about 400 agricultural commodities fifth is digitalized access to inputs technology knowledge skill agricultural finance credit marketing agribusiness management to farmers sixth is digitalized integrated land and water management per drop more crop and the last one is digitalized farm health management for reduction of farmers loss this is very important with respect to the today's topic too this is we have been envisaging we have been you know uh, you know suggesting in various through various forums and also the doubling the farmers income committee report also suggested on ground level it has to be an integrated health management system farmers health plant health animal health soil health water health and fishery health and it is also known that 85% of the disease which the human being get are from animal this is the first time in the finance budget while the finance minister was presenting they have announced establishing national institute for one health human health and animal health and uh, this is an important this i have been you know talking writing and now it has also recommended in the doubling the farmers income committee report that integrate digitalized to farm health management this can generate large scale employment opportunities in the rural areas boys and girls having biology as the subject which they must have studied either in the school or in the college up to graduate level there are three form acts which were enacted and legislated in the year 2020 farmers produce trade and commerce promotion and facilitation act farmers empowerment and protection you know agreement on price assurance and farm services act this is very important because this act considers that farming as a service so this can facilitate the 85% of the you know farming community which are small and marginal farmers they can introduce science and technology based farming activity on their farms and last one is essential commodities you know amendment act with this seven mission mode project and three farm act can facilitate establishing one agri tech startup in every gram panchayat it means that there is an economic viability of establishing 2.25 agri tech startups in 2.25 lakhs gram panchayat in the country facilitating 14 crore farming community in the country atmanirbhar bharat the road ahead is the vision of the prime minister of india narendra shri narendra modi of making india self reliant on rested on five i's intent inclusion investment infrastructure and innovation and based on five pillars economy meaning quantum jump infrastructure one that represents modern india systems 21st century technology driven demand whereby the strength of our demand and supply chain should be utilized to the full capacity in the third announcement of atmanirbhar bharat especially with respect to uh, in agriculture sector the government has announced about rupees 1.5 lakh crore boost for atmanirbhar bharat in agriculture now let us come to the topic plant protection plant protection activities encompasses activities aimed to minimizing crop losses due to pests through integrated pest management plant quarantine regulations of pesticides locust locust warning and control and training to in desert areas besides 
training and capacity building in plant, plant protection. Chemical crop protection products or pesticides help control pesticides, disease, weeds, funky and other undesirable pesticides. Based on the type of pesticides, the pesticide market is classified into fungicides, herbicides, insecticides and others. In response to the query from the Parliamentary Standing Committee during 2012 and 2013 on the extent to which agriculture production due to the infestation of pest and diseases and, and the extent to which agriculture production has increased by the use of pesticides, the Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals in its written reply stated that every year in india pests and diseases eat away on an average 20 to 30 percent of food worth of rupees 45000 crores produced by the farmer let me repeat this was in a written reply to the parliamentary standing committee every year in india pests and diseases eat away on an average, 20 to 30 percent of food worth about rupees 45,000 crores produced by the farmer. It is therefore essential to control pests and diseases through primary plant protection for, for providing sufficient food security to the growing population of the country. Pest management. Pests are organisms that might compete with or damage crop spices. They reduce plant density, cause plant stunted growth and their death, cause lower production capacity, damage barriers, and in many other ways, reduce the yield or quality of agriculture product products. Disease, insects, and weeds can cause costly and irrepar irreparable harm to livestock and crops. Methods to manage these problems include use of pesticides or biological pest control. Integrated pest management couples both methods and includes monitoring to introduce to reduce the overuse of pesticide applications. Integrated pest management over the past 50 years has become and remains the world, world's leading holistic strategy for plant protection. From its appearance in the 1960s, integrated pest management has been based on ecology, the concept of ecosystems, and the goal of sustaining ecosystems function. In intensified systems, <coughs> sorry, environmental factors of production affect the prospects for the effective management of pests, soil management water stress, crop varietal resistance, timing and spatial arrangement of crop, uh, crops. As an ecosystem-based strategy, IPM has achieved some notable success in world agriculture. Fourth Industrial Revolution, or Industry 4.0, is the ongoing automation of traditional manufacturing and industrial practices using smart technology, the key technologies are A, B, C, D, E. A means artificial intelligence, analytics, and operation research. B is blockchain. C is cloud, IoT, and 5G communication. D is big data, and E is ecosystem. Industry 4.0 is today, and Industry 5.0 is tomorrow. No data means no artificial intelligence. Poor data means poor art, uh, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, the core concepts are natural language processing, symbiotic artificial intelligence, computer vision, machine learning, speech processing, and robotics. Artificial intelligence technology combined with big data hold the potential 
to solve many key clinical trial challenges. Big data and AI technologies are complementary as AI artificial intelligence can help to synthesize and analyze and uh, analyze ever expanding data. Agri biotech voiced to start a new green revolution. Agri biotech. I agree biotech encompasses an expansive landscape involving biological, chemical, and even digital processes used in its two major sectors, plants and animal. UPL, an Indian multinational agricultural company, recently unveiled Open AG Agriculture Center, a research and development hub at Durham, North Carolina, that incorporates climate control, research glasshouse, and dedicated space for formulation, analytical chemistry, and biochemistry laboratories. UPL intends to use Open AG Center and its extensive field testing network to foster partnership with other agri innovators. Robotic process automation through virtual software agents, cyber physical systems, and physical robots provide enormous opportunities for products developments by emerging technology startups. Future agriculture is green revolution. It's not our erstwhile green revolution. It is green revolution. This is G-R-I-N, not G-R-E-E-N. G-R-I-N, G is for a genome. R is for robotics. I is for informatics. And N is for nanotechnology. This is the future of agriculture based production. Farmer largely depend on government extension workers who manually identify pests by examining pest oblique insect traps on farms and relay the data to research institutes for expert advice. However, the data is not always reliable. Since field workers are not equipped with adequate technology to identify or count the pets affecting the crop. This is where artificial intelligence can help fill a critical gap. The whole concept of smart farming, which is making agriculture more efficient and sustainable and thus profitable, is largely driven by artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies. With this introduction, let me now turn to the address by the panel of experts, agri startups, and entrepreneurs. This may lead to some research and academic collaborations between the startup and the university. In their synopsis, both experts, they say uh, their mission as follows. Our mission is to provide high-tech products in the field of pest management to the farmers which are affordable high-tech products which are affordable reliable eco-friendly to a human being and coupled with a green sustainable solar energy source to improve the profit profitability of the farming business high-tech product which are affordable, reliable, and eco-friendly with a green, sustainable solar energy source to improve the profitability of the farming business. It is a complete high-tech product. Their vision is, as it is given in their synopsis, is to establish artificial intelligence, Senex International Private Limited, as a global developer and manufacturer of high-tech and human-friendly pest management products and solutions for the farming industry by 2022. Our best wishes to the agri startups and entrepreneurs. Today's topic will motivate and galvanize the participants watching over telecast through Facebook, Oblique Soviet University India, or youtube.com 
Soviet University in for establishing agri tech startups in you know integrated farm health management, plant health, soil health, water health, animal health, and fishery health. More than 6,500 agri startups, at least one per block, or even about 2.25 lakhs agri start, start, startups, one per each gram panchayat. Let me invite Madam Shanaz Sheikh and then Mr. Khalil Sheikh to address the participants. Let me introduce Mrs. Shanaz Sheikh. Mr. Manish, can you put the profile? Madam Shanaz Sheikh is the founder and CEO of AI Zenix International Private Limited and founder of, of Microbiz Network India, a startup based at Thane and Mumbai. She did her MSc in microbiology and worked as a junior scientist in a biofertilizer company. Before funding her first setup microbiz in 2013 and AI Genics in 2019, she was instrumental and in doing agricultural research. From 2001 onwards, studying an insect's behavior and their response to various kinds signals is very important from 2001 onwards for the last 20 years they are doing this research in and studying the insects behavior working on research and development of artificial artificially intelligent crop protection technology since 2001 she has worked as a telemarketing executive in vodafone tata sky and airtel etc earlier mr khalil sheikh is the co-founder and Chief Technology Officer at AI Zenix International Private Limited. He has BE Computer Engineering and Industrial Electronics Engineering. Before joining Microbiz and AI Zenix, Mr. Khalil held several positions in the telecom, electronics, and computer engineering field as a techno commercial business development professional worked for Indian and international companies. From 2001 onwards, studying an insect's behavior and their response to various kinds of signal, working on research and development of artificially intelligent crop protection technology since 2001. Both the panel of members, uh, the experts, Madam Shanaz Sheikh and Mr. Khalil Sheikh, we welcome to the national webinar series on doubling farmers income by 2022 today and we will request you to address you know to the audience the participants who are participating from india and abroad let us start with the address by madam shanaz sheikh over to madam shanaz sheikh thank you yeah so Thank you so much for this uh, wonderful opportunity and kind introduction. I'm really appreciated and welcome to all the participants across the world. My heartfelt gratitude to Professor Moni sir and Chobit University for giving us this opportunity to present our technology in today's session. Thanks again for joining this talk on a very important subject artificial intelligence enabled pest management technology for agricultural crop protection. We are looking forward to collaborate with Shobit University for conducting pilot project for sugar cane, rice, and potato growers. Without delay, so let us get started with presentation. Yeah, madam, it's visible now. You please carry on. Yeah, yeah. 
so i would like to share here our startup journey how we have came up with ai based pest management solution for crop protection in agriculture sector our family is involved in farming business uh, while cultivating various crop in our farm we faced acute insect pest and synthetic pesticide toxicity issues with our uh, farm workers and dairy animals so these issues made us to think over how to solve insect pest management issues uh, without use of toxic pesticides so we started working on finding alternative solution to toxic pesticides available in the market we realized that there is no viable and efficient solution available in the market for insect pest management so we do started working on environment friendly non toxic agriculture pest management to reduce their input cost of crop protection and improving their living condition by minimizing their exposure to highly toxic chemical pesticides in the year 2001 we have started study on entomology and research on insect behavior and response down the line in a few years we have developed a different kind of communication signals includes vision olfactory acoustic touch and sen sensational to communicate with insects and alter their behavior in response to these communication signals in the process of development of artificial intelligent insect communication technology we built multiple prototypes and conducted trials in laboratory and later on the actual crop field in different geographical areas in multiple crops after successful field trials video decided to make this technology available to the farmers it took almost 13 years to make product commercially available to the farmers to test the minimum viability of the product video decided to establish a quick and lean business setup named micro business network india as a single proprietorship company from year 2014 to till 2020 we sold approximately 3500 plus devices in indian and international market that is across eight countries at this stage we realized that uh, now the product is well accepted by the farmers crop protection experts and agricultural scientists across the world to continue this business professionally and start mass production and distribution of this product across the globe we established aigenix international private limited in the year 2019 so i just would like to share a brief idea about what is artificial intelligence uh, their types of artificial intelligence and how ai is transforming agriculture artificial intelligence is a wide ranging branch of computer science concerned with building smart machines capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence artificial intelligence can be divided in various types there are mainly two types of main categorization which are based on capabilities and based on functionality of artificial intelligence so in type 1 there is a narrow ai general ai and strong ai and in type 2 there is reactive machine limited memory theory of mind and self awareness currently we are working on reactive kind of machine so uh, how ai is transforming agriculture agriculture and farming is one of the oldest and most important professions in the world as the world population continues to grow and land becomes more scarce people have needed to get creative and become more efficient about how we farm using less land to produce more crops and increasing the productivity and yield of those farm acres worldwide agriculture is 5 trillion dollar industry and now the industry is turning to ai technologies to help yield healthier crops control pest monitor soil and growing conditions organize our data for farmers 
help with workload and improve a wide range of agriculture related tasks in the entire food supply chain with the help of ai farmers can now analyze a variety of things in, re in real time such as weather conditions temperature water usage or soil conditions collected from their farm to better inform their decisions for example ai technologies help farmers optimize planning to generate more bountiful yields by determining the crop choices the best hybrid seed choices and resource utilization ai systems are also helping to improve harvest quality and accuracy what is known as precision agriculture precision agriculture uses ai technology to aid in detecting diseases in plants pest and poor plant nutrition on farms farmers also using ai to create seasonal forecasting models to improve agricultural accuracy and increase productivity these models are able to predict upcoming weather patterns months ahead to assist decision of farmers seasonal forecasting is particularly valuable for small farms in developing countries as their data and knowledge can be limited keeping the small farms operational and growing bountiful yields is important as the small farms produce 70% of world's crop in addition to ground data farmers are also taking to the sky to monitor the farms computer vision and deep learning algorithms process data captured from drones flying over their fields from drones ai enabled cameras can capture images of the entire farm and analyze the images in near real time to identify the problems areas and potential improvements so unmanned drones are able to cover far more land in much less time than humans on foot allowing for large farms to be monitored more frequently with less people entering the farm profession most farms are facing the challenge of a workforce shortage traditionally farms have needed many workers mostly seasonal to harvest crop and keep farm productive however as we have moved away from being an agrarian society with large quantities of people living on farms to now large quantities of people living in cities less people are able and willing to tend to the land one solution to help with this shortage of worker is ai agriculture bots these bots augment the human labor workforce and are used in various farms these bots can harvest crops at higher volume and faster pace than human laborers more accurately identify and eliminate weeds and reduce the cost of farms by having around the clock labor force as the world population continues to grow and land becomes more scarce people need to get creative and become more efficient about how agriculture is done this world requires use of less land to produce more crop and increasing productivity and yield Moreover Indian agriculture faces multiple challenges like high dependence on monsoon resource in, in, intensiveness heavy use of resources like water inorganic fertilizers and pesticides degradation of land and loss of soil fertility and low per hectare yield among others artificial intelligence can play a catalytic role in improving crop yield from various factors like climate changes population growth employment issues and food security problems the industry is turning to artificial intelligence technology to help yield healthier crops control pests monitor soil and growing conditions organize data for farmers help with the workload and improve a wide range of agriculture related task in the entire food supply chain the role of artificial intelligence in pest management is climate change the increase in international exchanges of 
infested materials and pest control problems cause unpredictable pest outbreaks faced by farmers to overcome these problems a sustainable pest control tactic integrated pest management which is providing the effective use of natural resources is needed integrated pest management is an ecologically based control management strategy that considers all factors natural enemies economic threshold plant susceptibility and breeding factors pest biology and climatic conditions so what is the use of ai in agriculture ai is expanding its footprints at the ground level making a significant impact in the world's most vital sector agriculture after healthcare automotive manufacturing and finance sector now artificial intelligence in agriculture is providing cutting edge technology for harvesting with better productivity and crop yield controlling insect pest infestation controlling plant diseases autonomous tractors agricultural robotics soil and crop health monitoring precision farming with predictive analytics ai in agriculture is not only helping farmers to automate their farming but also shifting to precise cultivation for higher crop yield and better quality while using less resources so who we are and what we do we invent technology for crop protection and sustainable farming which helps to address the global hunger threat and food security issues our ground breaking crop protection technologies and crop management solutions are transforming the dynamics of farming industry enables millions of farmers to produce high quality toxic pesticide residue free food and increase the yield by optimizing the use of available resources we create amazing products and solutions for crop protection and sustainable farming to protect and manage valuable crops and plants grown in commercial farms and backyards to increase yield earnings and minimize pollution our mission is to provide high tech products in the field of pest management to the farmers which are affordable reliable and eco friendly to a human being and coupled with green sustainable solar energy source to improve the profitability of the farming business our vision is to establish ajn international private limited as a global developer and manufacturer of high tech and human friendly pest management products and solution for the farming industry problem what we are solving farmers and scientists across the world are struggling to protect the crop from insects pests and diseases majority of insect pests have developed resistance against pesticides day by day the cost of pesticide is increasing across the world the government are putting ban on toxic pesticides and farmers are left with less options for crop protection growers end up in frustration after spending huge money they lose their crop to insect pest and diseases sometimes growers lose almost 100% crop due to insect pest infestation pesticides are detrimental to environment and produce considerable damage to ecosystem pesticide may be harmful to non target species of insect pest pesticides pollute air water and soil affecting considerably natural biological equilibrium pesticide contribute to disappearance of pollinators threaten aquatic animals and destroy bird and animal habitats we have addressed the issues related with insect pest management successfully by developing behawk artificial intelligent pest management technology and our technology support to protect all kinds of crops without using single drop of chemical pesticides the growers needs eco friendly efficient and effective solution for crop protection 
बेहोक आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंट स्पेस कंट्रोल डिवाइसेस एग्जर्मिनेट 1980 प्लस टाइप्स ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स बेस्ड सेफगार्ड टू बेनिफिशियल इंसेक्ट्स लाइक हनी बीज प्रीडेटरी इंसेक्ट्स एक्सेट्रा इट इंक्रीज द ईल्ड बाय 40 परसेंट इट जीरो डाउन द लेबर कॉस्ट सिंस द डिवाइसेस आर फुल्ली ऑटोमेटिक एंड सोलार बेस्ड no need to spray any chemical pesticides and farmers can achieve above 95% pest control we are the first company who launched such ai based crop protection solution the solution is tested in 250 plus crops and plantation till date we have developed a unique primary kind of reactive machine designed to perform the assigned task of identifying the herbivorous omnivorous carnivorous insects it releases multiple kinds of signals includes visual patterns like frequencies acoustic signals vibratory signals to attract and aggregate an insects those are harmful to plants that includes herbivorous and omnivorous insects simultaneously it generates an alarm signal to threaten and repel beneficial insects include carnivorous parasitoids nectar and pollen feeding bees the taxonomic order of insects is exterminated in brehawk series products brehawk manage uh, the population of 2000 plus genus species including herbivorous and omnivorous types of insects by attracting and exterminating exterminating them very efficiently the herbivorous and omnivorous insects from following taxonomic orders are lured and exterminated by brehawk series it is hemiptera for example true bugs cicads plant hoppers leaf hoppers aphids wing adults only then uh, millibug scale wing uh, wings male scale then shield bugs and allied then coleoptera for example beetles lepidoptera for example moths isoptera termites orthoptera uh, for example grasshoppers crickets catadids vita lubber acrida and locust diptera including a uh, mosquito midge horse fly hemenoptera for example soft flies ants and etc thesanoptera thrips the feature of ai enabled brehawk technology is its uh, environmental friendly physical pest management devices eliminates the need for toxic pesticides insecticides and avoid the contamination of air water soil and food insecticide residue free healthy and natural farm produce with an increased commercial value increase of microbial activity in soil gives natural protection against the crop from soil borne diseases namely fungus bacteria nematodes etc it improves the macro and micronutrient uptake capability of plant roots and reduces the dependence on supplementary fertilizers and micronutrients it is easy to install relocate no need for wiring excavation and construction the investment recovery period is less than one crop period when compared with expenses on similar kind of crops managed by pesticides during cloudy and foggy days an emergency charging port is provided to charge the devices with external sources namely external power bank wind turbine charger etc the areas of brehawk series applications is as follows uh, it can be useful in agriculture field crops then floriculture in open as well as in protected farms it is it can be can, useful can, in tropical uh, uh, now only okay there was uh, some problem in uh, visualize seeing the powerpoint now it has come okay 
just wait no let it put properly hmm. yeah so plantation uh, it can be useful in plantation crop spice and aroma crop backyard gardens and farm landscape garden animal stables and barns then grain and seed warehouses natural protein food collection for aquaculture the housing societies resorts hotels public parks amusement parks and water parks currently we are developing currently we are developing and selling second generation insect communication ai based devices across eight countries and we are going to launch third generation insect communication based devices in 2020 2022 we have developed six models for bayhawk series product our cup, upcoming products are e bionic which is in idea stage each device is covers one acre to one hectare area in any crop including open as well as in protected farms like greenhouses polyhouses shade nets etc all devices are fully automatic solar based life of product 6 to 7 years without maintenance so yeah uh, this is all about uh, ai and uh, thank you so much moni sir now over to you sir So thank you, Madam Sena Sheikh, for your very insightful presentation on your technology, which has been under research and development for the last twenty years. It is it is uh, it's a very important innovate you know uh, innovations research and development pro technology product. which uh, both husband and wife have brought it out very effectively and we are proud of you know hosting your address in the national webinar series uh, this very important technology so now i will request you know uh, we will take up the queries if any later and uh, we will now request mr khalil uh, khalil sheik to address his talk over to mr Khalil Sheikh, please unmute. Please unmute. Okay. Shall I can you share my presentation? Yeah, yeah, please, please, please. Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing. I hope everyone can see a uh, screen. yeah make it in full uh, full screen mode okay fine uh yeah first of all uh, i would like to say thank you to uh, professor moni sir and uh, shobhit university for giving us this wonderful opportunity to share our ideas with people connected to the national uh, webinar series platform and Uh, we as a aigenics giving our small contribution to the dream project of indian government's doubling farmers income the screen is not uh, coming I'm, yeah Your here i am uh, shanas yeah uh, i hope everyone can see okay? no, so, no no it, it disappeared okay. mm. you please upload okay, once uh, again just to do, just to do a second I hope now the uh, my yeah, screen is okay. visible. Okay. Good. Okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. Uh, today uh, uh, I am uh, going to talk on AI and the crop crop protection. Of course, the Shanaz has uh, Madam Shanaz had given uh, much information about uh, detailed information about the R product and uh, the use of AI and all that uh, regarding. Uh, use of AI in uh, crop protection, but uh, again, I am going to talk on the same topic with some different inputs. 
basically in presentation uh, in uh, today's pre uh, talk i am going to uh, in today's presentation i am going to talk about the insect communication uh, in a short about the ai and ty its types as well as uh, use of ai for crop protection in current scenario and the role of ai in uh, insect pest management and how our ai enabled uh, protection system rehawk is working all these uh, topics i am going to cover in uh, today's talk first of all uh, we would like to uh, understand what is the communication communication is uh, uh, exchange of information between individuals for the members of human species it is an essential part of social interaction we communicate through speech written language sign language body language braille and morse code many other cultural and technological inventions are there for the communicating and exchanging the information our brains are uniquely adapted for symbolic communication but most of our language skills are acquired through the learning uh, if we talk about the insect communication insects also uh, have many ways to communicate but unlike humans their language is almost entirely in it each individual is born with distinctive uh, vocabulary that is shared with uh, shared only with the other members of its own species learning plays a little or no role in the ability to produce these signals or to understand them an act of communication is not an always uh, or or obvious no physical entity pass from one individual to another so it is always not possible to know when exchange of information occurs the only way to distinguish communicative behavior from non from non communicative beha behavior is by looking for evidence of change in the behavior sometimes uh, physiology of another individual yeah uh, well uh, why do insect communicate first of uh, if we uh, yeah uh, we would like to understand uh, why do insect communicate with each other uh, some uh, some form of interspecific intraspecific communication is prerequisite for any behavior that involves the participation or cooperation of two or more individuals intentionally or not insect may also communicate with other with the members of other species that is interspecific communication the adaptive value of these communication signals may include recognition of kin or nestmate locating or identifying a member of opposite sex facilitation of courtship or mating giving direction for the food or other resources regulating spatial distribution of individuals like aggregation or dispersal or establishing and maintaining the territories warning of danger setting of an alarm advertising one's presence or location expressing their submission or uh, submission or deception and mimicry, mimicry. uh well uh, usually uh, when uh, when we talk about the uh, locating or uh, finding opposite sex member uh, sex uh, this can be done in uh, 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 for example uh, some of the uh, insects do release kind of uh, females do release kind of uh, semi chemical signals from their glands secretory glands and these uh, signal chemical chemical signals are inter intercepted by the uh, chemosensory organs on the body of the male insects and they get attracted towards the they try they will reach to the uh, they will be able to find or they will reach to the opposite sex members uh, similarly there are some crickets who produce male crickets who produce particular kind of sound uh, that is high frequency sound and the female insects uh, female uh, uh, crickets who travel towards the direction of that sound and they will meet with each other 
in other case like uh, for example uh, giving the direction of location of food or uh, other resources uh, if we talk about the honey bees honey bees if they find uh, any sort of uh, any good source of nectars or uh, nectars and pollen uh, they do a particular kind of dance that is called waggle dance or dance in the uh, numerical figure like eight or when they escape from the threat or the dangerous situation they go back to hives and communicate with the uh, other mate uh, other uh, kings in the uh, colony about the particular site not to visit that site that that is not safe that way the insect needs to communicate with each other for many other things how do insect communicate yeah just now i uh, told you that uh, how these insects usually uh, communicate with this uh, there are uh, like all other animals insects use their five senses to acquire information about their environment and any of these sensory modalities serve as a path for exchange of information taste and touch are both contact senses therefore exchange of information occurs only when two individuals are touching to each other vision olfaction that is smell and uh, acoustic signal that is hearing are the remote senses the information signal information signals may propagate through air or water or or considerable distance and each signal modality has its own unique advantage and disadvantage yeah uh, yeah coming back to artificial uh, artificial intelligence as the uh, chenas uh, madam chenas explained that there are the four uh, types of artificial intelligence one is the reactive machines the other one is limited memory uh, machines uh, the example of reactive machine is like the uh, playing the chess with the computer whereas limited memory uh, is like uh, driving a self autonomous uh, car whereas uh, self awareness is like uh, you can say uh, a deep learning machine uh, having ability to uh, uh, like automated diagnosis system uh, this this comes under the self aware uh, ai whereas theory of mind yet uh, the uh, we are unable to uh, reach to the uh, level of theory of mind uh, but with the uh, recent progress uh whatever is happening in the world of uh, ai uh we may be able to uh, reach to a uh, theory of mind level in next few years here uh, i i would like to tie a uh, talk more on uh, ai and uh, crop protection in current scenario a uh, global problems of uh, hunger and uh, malnutrition induced us to introduce a new tool for pest insect identification monitoring and artificial neural network system this is multi layer perceptron and artificial intelligent method seems to be efficient for this purpose and nowadays for the management of insect pests or uh, to protect uh, and to protect the crop across the world most of the scientists and the researchers are focusing on using computer vision that is image processing for early warning of the pest infestation and keep updated the farmers to make a decision to take the pest management measures mostly uh, to, to take, take the pest management measures in advance and most of the time uh, uh, once uh, the farmer receives uh, Uh, updates uh, from the system or the AI, AI system they plan uh, uh, certain activities like spraying the pesticides in advance or maybe it can they try to uh, take other measures to uh, avoid the uh, infestation and the damage in the crop but with current approach uh, there is if you look at the the current use of ai in the uh, uh, crop protection 
everyone is trying to focus on the uh, image processing just they are uh, everything is for either with, whether it is through the drones whether it is through the satellite or uh, uh, kind of uh, other devices but most of the uh, thrust is there on the image uh, computer vision and the image processing the other areas of uh, uh, other areas are uh, virtually uh, uh, virgin and uh, not explored and the uh, way uh, the existing uh, ai is being used uh, in current scenario the ai is being used is not giving us the freedom from the uh, toxic chemical pesticides mainly the uh, right now uh, we are uh, the uh, entire uh, rather than say 99% of the uh, use of ai is there only to make the uh, people or the make the uh, uh, farmer uh, updated Uh, about the situation and uh, make uh, on the basis of that uh, uh, situation the farmer would take uh, spraying and uh, take uh, take spraying of the uh, chemical pesticides this is not giving us the uh, complete freedom from the toxic chemical pesticides and associated uh, harms of the uh, toxic chemicals but nevertheless uh, ai uh, computer vision is helping to reduce the usage of toxic pesticides but now uh, uh, we need to uh, uh, focus on what else we can do with ai for the crop protection uh, there are two uh, uh, areas uh, which are uh, we can say the uh, virgin uh, uh, little uh, not really explored much uh, one is auditory processing auditory processing is a computer audition or machine listening or machine perception this is uh, one of the uh, virtually uh, virgin area and except uh, ai genix brehog system uh, where there is lot of scope to do study and research and use of uh, auditory processing for the crop protection from the insect and pest and the other area is artificial olfactory system artificial olfactory system uh, is uh, ai enabled nose is another virgin area exception is uh, ai genix upcoming solution where there is a lot of scope to study research and use olfactory signals processing for crop protection from insects and pests in auditory processing uh, like we use a hearing insect to uh, the uh, uh, when i talk about the auditory processing what uh, what else can be do, uh, done with the auditory processing we can use uh, this auditory processing for hearing the insect analyze principles of auditory process uh, processing in the uh, in nervous system then uh, many species of insects that is crickets grasshopper cicadas females are attracted towards the songs of their males Uh, of course there there are almost 18 kind of different insect groups uh, that includes the uh, moths and the uh, beetles and uh, many other in many other uh, groups of insects mm. these females uh, pursue the song via sensitive hearing organs and the process signals uh, by the specific neurons in their uh, central nerve system in terms of uh, auditory processing they face a similar problem like the other vertebrate uh, verbe uh, vertebrate human face that is how to recognize and localize a sound signal as a major advantage of insect nervous system are rather simple uh, unlike human uh, human nervous system they uh, offer a chance to record individual nerve cell and reveal the fundamental principle of auditory processing at the level of identified uh, neurons and the network we think that such mechanisms are uh, being used by many animals to communicate with sound and uh, there is lot of uh, opportunities are open in this uh, uh, area of uh, uh, computer hearing or uh, machine hearing kind of uh, a uh, segment of uh, uh, ai when we talk about uh, the artificial olfactory system uh, we can make use of uh, uh, basically the uh, artificial olfactory system or uh, or 
artificial olfactory sense is uh, uh, we can call that uh, artificial nose or electronic nose a useful uh, system that has not yet been uh, realized because of uh, differences in each individual olfactory sense and the evaluation methods of the sense uh, the fundamental technique of uh, olfactory sensing is similar to uh, that is used in gas sensing technology hence the knowledge of gas sensor is needed uh, to design an, arti uh, an artificial olfactory system the sensors and the uh, sensors are produced to detect chemical ingredients in air and molecules to process the uh, data output by sensors uh, and import uh, and these sensors are important for creating uh, olfactory systems here we can use uh, basically with the uh, with some uh, what we can say with uh, use of some sensors and ai program uh, ai program uh, we can uh, uh, sense the uh, various kind of gases volatile and non volatile gases uh, in the surroundings of the uh, uh, device or the surroundings of uh, that device which uh, which is there uh, as a uh, artificial nose and uh, from uh, this uh, volatile compounds released by the different uh, insects or the semi chemicals released by the different insects to communicate with each other or uh, inter intraspecific communication and interspecific uh, specific communication uh, we would be uh, able to uh, understand uh, like that ai system uh, will be able to understand that what are the different kind of insects are there in the surroundings of the crop usually uh, uh, if you look at the computer vision mostly uh, the computer vision or the image processing is able to process uh, the uh, process the uh, information in the uh, presence of the light if there is no light uh, in the form of uh, uh, natural sunlight or the, in the form of form of uh, artificial light uh, the image processing uh, uh, image processing or the computer vision is unable to uh, Give any sort of output. Or we can say that this computer vision has limitation that it will only work when there is uh, sufficient light uh, is there uh, available for uh, capturing the images to process that. But unlike in uh, auditory system as well as in artificial uh, uh, olfactory system artificial nose there is no need of uh, a visual uh, uh, like uh, light these signals can reach uh, in uh, reach to the insects and uh, uh, even the system can read uh, read from the surrounding like uh, auditory signals can reach in the surroundings of the uh, uh, that device or uh, a pretty uh, long distance whereas uh, artificial nose can uh, read the uh, different kind of uh, chemical signals released by the insects uh, without the presence of the light and uh, if we look at the uh, ma majority of the insects uh, those who are causing the uh, harm into uh, harm to the crop these are the uh, nocturnal insect if you look at the uh, uh, insects uh, there are uh, say 95% uh, insects uh, which is causing uh, damage to the crop is nocturnal in nature so uh, whatever in whatever sense the existing ai is uh, being used uh, they are using ai uh, 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 the uh, they, uh, the uh, computer vision has got some limitations computer vision alone cannot uh, completely uh, design or completely uh, 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 info like uh, give the entire information about the uh, presence of the different kind of insects to, uh, in the farm to the farmer but if we com combine this uh, auditory system as well as uh, artificial uh, olfactory system then uh, in combination uh, all as a combination uh, can uh, give the uh, better information uh, to the uh, farmer and they would be able to take the uh, appropriate decision uh, decision on the uh, measure uh, uh, taking measures uh, for the protecting crops but uh, rather than uh, informing uh, to the uh, there is another way uh, one is like giving the information 
to the farmers to take the uh, precautionary measures or uh, using the signals to attract uh, the insects those are the harmful to the crop and exterminate them exactly uh, this is what we have done uh, in our uh, brehawk uh, insect uh, brehawk uh, technology in brehawk technology what we have did is like we have used the artificial nose we have used uh, uh, we are using uh, auditory uh, signal uh, processing as well as we are using uh, vision but uh, unlike in uh, computer vision we are not using that computer vision rather we are using the uh, lights uh, modulated lights <coughs> to communicate with the uh, insects and attract them towards the source of the sorry attract them towards the source of the uh, signal uh, in case of the uh, auditory uh, signal processing rather than uh, hearing uh, from the uh, different kind of insects our ai system produces different kind of uh, uh, signals uh, auditory signals acoustic signals in response to that uh, the uh, the other insects uh, those who uh, those who have the uh, uh, capability of sensing the auditory signals they travel towards the device and get captured in the uh, our device the uh, third is uh, rather than uh, create uh, uh, reading the uh, different kind of uh, olfactory signals in the uh, surroundings our system makes use of uh, different kind of semi chemicals to generate uh, chemical signals for communicating with the insects and in response to that it uh, alter the behavior of the insects and uh, that altered behavior of uh, insect is then exploited uh, again to uh, attract them towards the uh, source of the signals and that way the uh, our artificial intelligent brehawk system works in fact uh, now uh, uh, we are working on a second generation artificial intelligent uh, insect communication system uh, we, in this uh, brehawk series whereas uh, in our upcoming uh, system uh, which is uh, artificial intelligent th third generation insect communication system in that uh, we would be uh, uh, like we uh, we do have a certain plans to uh, make a change in the uh, system like rather than uh, just sending the signals uh, in this system we are uh, looking forward to work on both uh, uh, both way uh, communication whereas in case of uh, uh, a a brehawk system it is unidirectional communication uh, and in third uh, third in uh, third generation in say communication system uh, we are trying to uh, work on a bidirectional communication system so uh, in that uh, in that system uh, it will generate different kind of signals on the basis of uh, the signals received from the surroundings and that way uh, uh, this uh, our upcoming product would be even much more uh, efficient compared to the our existing product which is uh, our existing technology that is brehawk uh, insect uh, brehawk uh, pest management technology uh, mainly now uh, we uh, uh, rather uh, we can say that uh, the our more uh, uh, efforts are there on the uh, learning the phonotactic behavior of the insects studying the neuron patterns and uh, uh, pattern recognition in the brain the control of singing by the command neurons then uh, neuro uh, neuron <coughs> neuronal basis of the uh, specific uh, species and uh, uh, species uh, singing behavior calcicum uh, imaging of auditory processing all these topics uh, on which we are uh, doing currently study and research and uh, in next one or two year uh, we would be able to come up with uh, uh, our updated version of uh, third generation insect communication system based device uh, yet we have not named that uh, uh, technology as so far but uh, up to certain extent our prototypes are uh, ready and uh, from the next fiscal year we are going to start uh, uh, pilot projects for the studying the efficacy of uh, uh, a different uh, kind of uh, 
uh, systems uh, ai used in our uh, device like uh, auditory processing as well as uh, olfactory uh, uh, signal processing and the uh, vision and uh, all these three kind of uh, uh, ai uh, areas we uh, what we are going to uh, uh, use in our uh, uh, new product uh, i would like to say that uh, with this uh, uh, i am almost done with uh, what we are doing and uh, how the uh, how the ai can be used uh, apart from the uh, computer vision how the ai can be used for uh, detecting the insects and exterminating the insects thank you uh, for giving this uh, opportunity once again and over to monisha thank you so much uh, Khalil Sheikh, for your very important uh, uh, talk on uh, why AI-based uh, technology-based uh, product inventions. Uh, you know, you very nicely brought it out very effectively. This is 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 very important in the sense that. Um, uh, <coughs> that uh, you know you brought it out that it is not a system engineering which your company is doing it but it is a completely research based you know uh, product innovation and it is very you know it is you know uh, it is uh, very much uh, you know uh, uh, you know important for the uh, educational institutions who wanted to use ai based research activities you know this is you know what you are doing is um, very you know very important as far as the agricultural sector is concerned you know i i was for the last um, you know these uh, one hour presentation by both uh, madam uh, shanaz sheik and uh, mr khalil sheik that the first presentation by the madam is that you know what is crop uh, protection and how to go for crop protection through the ai based technology and the presentation by mr khalil is that why ai for uh, crop protection and we appreciate you for the research work which you are doing for the last 20 years based on which you are able to study the uh, paternal behavior of you know about 2000 plus you know insects and then you have it is completely on uh, empirical empirical evidences based you are able to you know study the you know uh, the complete you know uh, you know uh, neuron behaviors and uh, you know this is more important and you are also able to come out with the uh, swat analysis as to, with respect to AI, you know, uh, technology in this crop protection research activities. Now, your 20 years of, you know, research work was able to bring it out. Second generation. Now we are also going to bring out third generation. And, you know, the, the work, research work which you are doing is phenomenal. That, you know, I was, as a computer science person, which I studied, you know, 40, for four decades back, uh, you know, today you are really is not from the educational institution environment you are doing research in a commercial environment and then bring it out and you are able to sold more than you know that 8000 uh, you know uh, devices in more than eight countries you know it's phenomenal and now today you are now going to undertake research work in a neural network based research work and auditory processing and artificial all uh, all factory systems it's are all very important for the present day youths who undertake computer science studies through research process that to ai and big data analytics and uh, i'm very happy for uh, hosting your talk today and it's a very important talk and uh, as uh, you know uh, you know even many of the slides which needs further interactions because it's a one hour you know we're able to go through you know you know at the you know surface level 
but many of the slides which both of you have shown needs each slide has got a you know greater introspection and inspection and you know attention you know with this one we thank you and please stay on for the ministry addressed by the honorable chancellor and i will i would like to introduce the uh, you know our uh, honorable chancellor uh, shri kanwar shekhar vijayendra uh, uh, we uh, we are you know thank you for uh, you know joining us and um, uh, shri kanwar shekhar vijayendra is the <coughs> co-founder and chancellor of soviet institute of engineering and technology meerat a nac accredited deemed to be university and soviet university ganga uttar pradesh he is a prominent social entrepreneur based in new delhi and carries leadership roles in many organization and he has been nominated in the as the co chairman of national council on education of asocham the oldest chamber of commerce in india for the year 2020 21 21 22 Shri Kanwar Shekhar Vijayendra is a persistent advocate of initiatives for education for all secular values crisis management through diplomatic and peaceful ways and globalized system of learning and harmonious coexistence he has been instrumental in the development of a number of higher education institutes in north india including two universities many research centers and ayurvedic medical college college of naturopathy and yogic sciences and a 100 bed eyes hospital Shri Kanwar Shekhar Vijayendra is instrumental in establishing four centers of excellence Center for Agricultural Informatics Research Studies Center for Agri Business and Disaster Management Studies Center for Informatics Development Solutions and, and Applications and Center for Industry uh, uh, 4.0 Technology Studies and Applications in the university to promote informatics and technology related development in rural India He is also planning to establish a center for health informatics and computing in the university He is very actively involved with a number of social organizations acknowledging his contribution in the areas of education and other concerns he has been copiously honored and awarded he has traveled widely in india and abroad to the countries like usa uk germany australia russia china south korea vietnam mongolia united arab emirates mauritius rwanda uganda and croatia etc to participate in various professional social and educational activities we welcome the honorable chancellor of the university shri kanwar shekhar vijayendra and uh, to brief him uh, madam shana shekh and mr khalid shekh in the month of january i was uh, able to have their presentation in one of the startup venture capital you know presentation meet i was invited and i was extremely you know happy uh with respect to the research based re- development which they are doing for uh, you know uh, for pest management ai enabled pest management technology for crop protection <coughs> without using pesticides and um, they were able to sell for the last 20 years both husband and wife were able to study the insects and their uh, you know uh, you know uh, behavioral patterns <coughs> sorry <coughs> and then devised technology products and now they were able to operationalize in eight countries you know and about more than 5000 products and also now they are going with the you know most more advanced ai technology based uh, products and uh, it is not from you know higher educational institutions like uh, sophisticated educational institution but their family was involved in agricultural uh, agricultural activities farming activities they faced a problem of insects which led them to you know get into innovations and today it is a commercial activity that too with a higher technology like ai based technology products so with this introduction and uh, i would like to request the honorable chancellor uh, chancellor kanwar shekhar vijayendra to address the national dinner series on doubling farmers in by 2022 over to you thank you thank you very much professor moni good afternoon everybody it is indeed a pleasure for me to listen to innovations 
aspirations which are inspiring thank you kena sheikh and uh, khalil sheikh it was wonderful indeed i was not able to listen to complete presentation but uh, i saw the brief professor muni discussed about you your passion and your commitment as a professional to bring a change i congratulate shobhit university for organizing such a meaningful webinar today professor muni decided to take up this task that whatever good is happening in agriculture ecosystem which can help or strengthen the vision of our honorable prime minister to double the income of our farmers by 2022 we should identify such professionals such technologies such people around and provide them a platform to share their innovations their ideas and inspire others i am sure that today by your presentation many of the young boys and girls in different uh, educational institutes including shobhit university must be inspired when we talk about artificial intelligence generally people say that artificial intelligence is there which will help us to personalize the thing and personalized learning will be there or it will help us to stop repetitive work uh, uh, automation will be there but use of artificial intelligence to empower the farmers this is something what is required because even today when we talk about digitalization of uh, agriculture sector it is very much limited to very few things if i look at the government system but people like you those who have come up with the startups those who have some ideas those who are willing to bring that change they are doing wonderful job i am sure that such webinars are not only going to help academically or the people those who are in agri tech sector but it is going to inspire others also and to inspire farmers at large we have to ensure that these technologies they go from lab to land as honorable prime minister says and to take them from lab to lands we have to create more and more awareness about these techniques available these technologies available to the masses for that what i will suggest professor moni if we can develop a micro certification with uh, 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 mr and Ms., mrs sheik on their technology if they can it may be of any duration it may be of a day it may be of five days a week two weeks depending on what is there how much time it needs and that micro certification can be online experiment which may be available to everybody and if we can make it in vernacular languages also if it can be in hindi where we explain to the people around because many school colleges where bsc agriculture is there other programs are there still language is a barrier and new education policy is talking about in this multilingual country talking about mother tongue talking about many other things around so if we can develop some such programs micro certification certificate diploma and we can request both of you to spare some time to educate people around because many times what happens we have wonderful innovations with us we have wonderful solutions with us we have wonderful technologies with us but they are either not use they are not very user friendly either or people are not much aware about them so i always believe it is also our duty to make people aware that will help a lot because what you are doing today's topic when i was looking artificial intelligence enabled pest control technology for agriculture crop protection and in bracket it was written without pesticides this what is in bracket 
has to be without a bracket. This has to be the headline that agriculture without pesticide is possible in this country. Every government even, every system, every multinational, when they come, the very first thing they say, okay, I will bring you some better pesticides. They never say without pesticide, it is possible. And this is you dare to do it. So once you dared, let this dream be large. Let this dream be seen by many people around those who cannot either afford the pesticides or those who do not know how much pesticide, what pesticide is required in my land. हमारे यहाँ होता ये है कि अक्सर जब पेस्टिसाइड डाले जाते हैं। I believe you understand Hindi also? Okay, so जब हम पेस्टिसाइड डालते हैं, तो वो हम पड़ोसी से पूछ के डालते हैं। अच्छा इसने इतना डाला है, मैं थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा डाल देता हूँ, शायद मेरी फसल अच्छी हो जाए। इसने ये भी डाला है, मैं और थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा डाल देता because there is no scientific way, there is no scientific training we are giving to our farmers. And if we will say, okay, this neighbor of mine is doing wonderful agriculture without using any pesticide, that day the change will start coming. That day the real use of technology will start there. And I congratulate both of you. Thank you. That as a couple, you are daring to dream something big. It is big for at least our nation. It is big for our ecosystem. It is big for our farmers in rural areas. It is big for marginal farmers. If we say, okay, using technology, you can do one. So thank you very much for your contribution to strengthen the vision of Honorable Prime Minister. And thank you, Professor Moni, for bringing such wonderful people around on this platform. It may be uh, you were telling that uh, they had very few such opportunities. And uh, generally, it happens when Professor Moni invites somebody, he has expect that minimum 60, 70 minutes, you have to speak very seriously about the topic, which itself is a very serious task. But you did a wonderful job today. And uh, I'm looking forward to meet you all in person. One, two. I'm looking forward for a micro certificate in your technology soon to be launched by our Center for Agriculture Informatics and E-Governance uh, Research uh, Studies in near future. Thank you. God bless us all. Please stay safe. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much, Thank you, sir. Honorable Chancellor, for your wonderful valedictory address and also giving your uh, vision and mission as to how we should uh, move forward and uh, personally i was uh, very much impacted by the research work which uh, both of them are doing it if you see the journey which they have taken up their family had a problem of pesticides you know the insect management in their farms which motivated them to get into research mr khalil is a computer engineer an industrial manufacturing engineer and uh, worked in the multinational companies and madam shenas uh, you know shenas is a microbiologist and uh, the combination of both microbiological research studies and uh, the computer engineering has did a wonderful job of bringing an artificial intelligence research work as a commercial product which none of the indian institute of information technologies were able to bring out in the country i wish i'm wrong and uh, that is true with many of the electronics you know departments of uh, engineering colleges and also you know nits and triple it's that's the reason only i thought that i should uh, you know uh, invite them request them to make a presentation and uh, both of them you know as um, you know uh, asked by the honorable chancellor that this topic will will have a very serious impact 
with the in rural youths to use and adopt artificial intelligence technology based uh, you know methods for agricultural sector you have listed out a empty number of areas and studying more than 2000 plus you know uh, insects they have behavioral pattern itself is lot of things i do not know whether you people have you know uh, published your research work in uh, important journals i do not know but uh, if it is not done and uh, we would like to you know from the university side we would like to you know uh, get those uh, your research work published appropriately because it is an you know it is an intellectual property right so you should have it and uh, rural youths should adopt your technology we have more than 400 agriculture commodities and uh, 2000 varieties and a lot of you know you know uh, you know uh, even though pest management uh, systems are adopted but i don't think that even indian council of agriculture research institutes who are doing research in this innovative area have come to this level of um, commercialization of their technology product research product we thank you for uh, uh, you know finding time to participate in our programs and it has uh, valued our programs and uh, as rightly asked by the honorable chancellor you know we would like to have you uh, in the university to have a personal talk and also further uh, you know uh, uh, process for introducing a diploma course or a post graduate diploma course or a micro certification in the area of artificial intelligence and the crop protection thank you very much and thank you all of you for giving this one please mr khalil mr khalil please yeah thank you uh, uh, professor moni and uh, 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 chancellor uh, vice chancellor uh, uh, is is Kumar, chancellor of the university mm. chancellor of university uh, uh, giving this uh, thank you for giving uh, this opportunity to us and definitely we would uh, like to work in close coordination with uh, both of you and meet you personally uh, to explore the uh, different areas where we can work together and uh, of course so uh, we are very keen uh, to work with you uh, for uh, uh, doing kind of uh, certification program for the uh, students of your university as well as uh, uh, to the uh, one who is quite in, uh, one who is interested in uh, making some career in the uh, field of uh, crop protection and the artificial intelligence uh, we would uh, like to definitely uh, work with you on this particular uh, project and uh, with uh, what we uh, why we uh, like uh, basically what we understood uh, uh, from the uh, different aspect uh, uh, different uh, kind of uh, resources uh, which we usually we uh, come across the as of now the only uh, the air work is only uh, uh, especially when we talk about the crop protection system yeah they are focusing uh, ai is just focusing on the image processing but image processing is uh, not enough for the uh, pest management you need a uh, different areas need to be explored uh, like uh, auditory signals and the uh, olfactory signals so of uh, these are the different areas where we would like to work with uh, 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 academic institutions like uh, us uh, your university and uh, yeah that's what uh, we would like to say uh, about this in short future we are uh, trying to, we would like to meet you and uh, uh, go ahead on uh, this uh, task madam shaina uh, shaina uh, sheikh would yeah. like to uh, say the words yeah 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 definitely i would like to uh, thank you so much uh, for this wonderful opportunity and thank you so much again uh, to uh, kumar uh, kumar uh, shekhar vijendra sir ji and uh, professor moni sir and uh, looking forward to get collaborate with shobhit university yeah that's it. thank you so much again thank you. so uh, with the permission of the chancellor we will close the webinar and we will leave the studio thank you very much okay. good thank day thank you very good day thank you
have a nice day thank you